Hello, Sagittarius is all over the world. Welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by and thank you for watching my channel, Lunatero. New week is approaching, starting with these dates, September 17th until September 23rd, 2018. So, what you can expect first, love tarot reading and then career, money, business tarot reading. So, let's get started and let's hope for the best. Okay, so my dear sages, female and male, let me see first of all what is on your mind, you know, how you feel from inside, where are your thoughts, you know, what is going on in your life now. Two of Swords, okay, my dear Sages, you have uh, lots of things, you know, to think, you know, through and, you know, probably, you know, a lot of it is going on and uh, you are probably exhausted. Two of Swords is a typical tarot card when, uh, you know, uh, the message is, you know, press the button, pause. So this is what it is, you know, pause, you know, reflect a past on the past like a two years or maybe a year, maybe six, you know, months where you are heading, you know. This tarot card also holds energy of full moon. You can see with your own twice, full moon. So this is obviously a combination of one style before you enter into a completely new cycle, new style of your life, you know. So uh, you are a little bit, you know, wishy-washy. You can be a little bit, you know, not knowing, you know, what is the best for you. So while you are... Uh, in this, uh, you know, cycle, which probably will last for a couple of days, maybe a month, don't act, don't rush, don't make, a, don't make a wrong step, you know, before you are like, you know, before one hundred percent sure what, where you are heading and with whom. Mind on your, I think uh, this is love tarot reading, you know, but generally speaking, I need to, I need to describe, you know, how I can see you from inside. Also, there could be in your life a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarian. You do not know what you can expect from this person, generally speaking, from your love partner, you know. You do not know what you can expect, you know. For some of you, this also could be like a question. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I change? Should I wait? Should I do? Should I work it out? You know, what should I do? I can talk on and on and on and on and on and on about only one tarot card, but this is enough. We have four more tarot cards to come. Okay, five of pentacles. Obviously, you're not very happy with something in your life, but this is you making uh, like a final say, you know, this is you making like a final decision. I ain't gonna beg. It's out of the question, you know. So, I think uh, you might leave, you know, someone and then you know, your situation is going to be like for 180, you know, degree completely over. This person might beg you, please stay, you know, please stay next to me. But then it's going to be probably too late. Or oh, I'm saying Five of Pentacles is not very easy tarot card to cope uh, with. You are maybe feeling, you know, miserable next to your love partner. Because, you know, communication obviously is not very good one. Uh, also, in your life, uh, there might be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you are kind of hoping, you know, that, you know, some themes are going to be opened. But you do not want to start first. And obviously, your partner does not want to start first at all. So, I can see, you know, expectations. Lots of expectations. Still, maybe not that tangible so this is like you know uh this is like everything is on the edge so who will cross the line you or him the time will tell you know time will show now let me see your partner how he or she thinks of you guys if you're single the next two tarot cards can show and will show who is coming towards you Four of Wands, okay, it's getting better. Four of Wands, everybody knows this is my favorite tarot card because this tarot card is tarot card of, you know, you complete him and he complete uh, you. This is like, this is like, 
I don't know, like a, like a piece and a carrot, you know. All this, you know, comes, you know, together. So even if you have any kind of differences now, everything will be worked out. Don't give up on this person, you know, because this person is, you know, uh, in love with you, you know. So, and it could be also Leo Sage or an Aries. And uh, if you are single, go out. You know, to movies, restaurants, you know, exhibition when lots of people are mingle. Uh, you know, there you can go take your best friend, and you know, this could be excellent, excellent time uh, to meet someone. Major Arcana, the Empress. Okay, guys, this person could be, you know, could be any astrological sign, you know, but this person is very, you know, uh, gentle, very, very, very tender, very, very successful. But this person is not uh, very emotional, you know, what that means. This person uh, will say, I do not want to, I do not want to, what is the word? Um, I do not want to be boring. I do not want to choke you, you know. So, whatever you want to be with me, simply call me, you know, like, give me a sign. So, this is like a typical Libra. Uh, could be, could be Taurus, uh, could be, could be Capricorn, could be Virgo. You know, I don't think this is, this is, uh, this is Leo or an Aries because Leos and Aries are very much more, you know, out, outgoing. So this is someone who is interested into you, but this person kind of is looking you for afar, you know, looking you from afar, not like ten miles, you know, but you know, uh, keeping, keeping a distance. So there is someone in your life who keeps a distance towards you because this person does not know are you single, are you attached and how you feel about him or her, you know. You can be connected through your job to this person, you know. Okay, and the very final tarot card, let me see, exactly, new beginning, no doubt about that, Ace of Wands, you enjoy so much in the presence of this person so much. This is someone who is very creative. This is someone who know how to make money. This is some, someone who will be very supportive. Someone with a great uh, imagination, you know. So, Ace of Wands is the final, uh, you know, sign for me that you are entering into one of the best possible phases or cycles in your life okay the best one cycle in your life will start around 7th of november when finally jupiter your ruler will enter into your sign and then you can expect expansion of of your life you know okay so be ready guys you know only two months is in front of you and then you will start you know shining you know okay so final advice or message, blossom. So there you go, guys, you know, blossom. You don't need to wait month of, you know, November to blossom. Guys, you can blossom this very second and you will due to Ace of Wands. Okay, little something about your career, job, money, business uh, situation. And then this is all there is. But we are not quite finished yet. Okay, two tarot cards, uh, three of wands, end of the chapter, and the past. Okay, go to your past and see what you need to finish, what you need uh, to do. Uh, something is unfinished uh, in your past. You know, go back, look left, uh, left and right. Uh, this could be depth. This could be uh, this could be something uh, from your previous company. Um, release anger. There is a lot of anger which is connected, you know, with your past. Uh, and be very, 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 very happy because of three of ones. Because completely new chapter when it comes to your business is coming. To tell you the truth, guys, you know, uh, in three months from now, your life will be completely different so say in a very tangible type of way goodbye 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 to your previous 
um, a world, you know, to previous situations and to your previous probably colleagues because of Jupiter entering into uh, your ruler planet entering into your sign. Do you get me guys, you know, what I want to say? Before you leave your past, uh, do everything what you, what you probably need, you know, to do, you know. So I don't know exactly what this, you know, might be. Maybe in three months, maybe this is your cutting connection with your colleagues. Maybe you know, maybe you already know, maybe you already apply, you know, for your, for your job, you know, whatever. In three months, you will be ready to proceed with your plan. So this is like around December 2018, something big will happen, obviously, in your life. So there you go. This is all there is. Uh, if you want to hear your story, don't wait. Call me and book a private reading with me. Like this video, please. Share this video with your friends. And please subscribe on my channel. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye.